we have this old stand we picked up. Someone was throwing it out. Um, it was a display stand from a store. And we picked it up. We thought that would make a nice little pedestal for a plant. And that's what we've been using it for out on the back patio. And as you can see, it's kind of dirty. It's sat out here in the winter. But, uh, yeah, it's dark out here. Um, except if you turn out, uh, turn on all the really bright lights. And I wanted to get like a little bit of mood lighting in here. Out here, I should say. Um, and also, we're lacking on shelf space. So, I plan on taking out a couple of these panels and uh, putting in some shelves and uh, another special feature while I'm at it, as you'll see. All right, I thought this stand was going to be a real pain in the neck maybe to get apart, but I took and turned it upside down. There's the bottom down there, or the top, <laughs> it's the bottom now. And I took off the bottom and what I discovered was that these boards slide out so I won't need to bust them out and I can still use these for something else which I plan on doing but anyway as you can see a nice surprise cool Okay, put the bottom back on it and flipped it over and this is what I have so far. My next step will be to paint it. Alright, today I'm starting anew. Looks like it might rain. I don't know, it's kind of dreary and dismal, but... I was digging through the old paints and uh, I brought up a bunch of them and uh, I'm going to get started. Here we go. Okay, got the balls on top sprayed gold. We'll probably give it another coat. And I got the bottom inside painted white. That's the only part I'm painting white or gold. I'm going to cover these up, and then I'm going to do the whole thing in black then, aside from the back. Okay, let me update you a little bit. I've uh, gotten it painted black for the most part. I might have to go out and get some more black, have the back painted white. I'm working on touching that up right now with my touch-up paints and got two shelves painted white. They're going to be the top and bottom of my light section which will be right here in the middle somewhere. I got my knobs all wrapped up and protected hopefully from the black paint and it's looking pretty good. Up you. <laughs> I've been busy. This is where I was pretty much, and this is about where I still am. <laughs> Didn't get much accomplished today. I uh I tried cutting on a shelf and uh cut it too short. And that kind of, um, well, to be honest, it bummed me out through the day, so I had other things I needed to do anyway. And I still have plants to plant that Thomas sent.
Okay, let me show you what I have done now. Um, I put some blocks in. I'm gluing them in place in the back. That'll be to hold up my shelves. My shelves, <laughs> I tried two times and got them both wrong. So I gave up yesterday. So today I cut more. I cut them smaller and they work much better. So I'm happier with them. And I can get on with uh, the light part now. Um, gotta glue in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more blocks to hold my shelf up. And that's what I'm working on right now. Okay, it's a rainy, nasty day outside. But I'm still working on this. Gluing and clamping. Gluing and clamping. Hopefully I'll have the shelves in today. I just have to glue and clamp two more pieces after this dries. I just got this on here. Then I gotta do some more spraying because just as touch-ups. And then add the lighting and all that other good stuff. But that's all there's going on now. Alright, for my next part. I'll just tell you what it is. Yes, it's an old clothes basket. And as you can see, it's seen its better days. It's about ready for the garbage pile. But no. Oh, no, 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 no. I think I might have another use for it. Okay. If you watched, you'll know this step. Hairspray. Pictures printed off the computer. Three coats, at least. Let me get back to you. One. And no, this is not going to be decoupage. I don't think I'm going to have decoupage. Every time I say I'm not, it happens. So, this in particular, though, is not going to be decoupage. Okay. Okay, to make it easier to work with, I'm going to cart start... I'm going to start by cutting down each side off of here. And I'm going to leave uh, this bottom because I want to use the bottom, I think, to uh, hold water for plants. To set my pots down in or up on gravel to keep them nicely uh, humid. Okay. I cut these a little bit big. I'm going to cut a little bit more off and fit them to size better. But that's about how it'll look. Except I'm adding something else to them. And I also, my black spray paint does not work on plastics. I didn't know that, but... Luckily, I read it before I put them in there. Oh, and I'm going to put on a coat of other colored paint that I do have that is for plastics. And I'm going to paint over that then when it's dry with my black paint. So that should work. And this part will be my light box section. You can't get it all in in one shot. <laughs> okay, first I painted those blue because I didn't, my paint wouldn't stick to plastic. 
and once that paint stuck to the plastic then I painted over that with my black and it's doing pretty good there's a little bit showing I'm seeing but not too much with the background I'm using it ought to work fine all right what I've done here is I got a piece of wax paper after I spray painted them black and I flipped this one over and what I'm gonna do is apply glue to the whites area and then stick my picture over it not my picture but the picture I have printed out okay I am um, I had it together I had the sides on and everything lights in it was looking pretty good and then this is supposed to be like that um, and then I saw my shelf was loose it had dropped in the front so what I'm gonna do now is just take a, a wood block I paint it black and stick under the front edge here to um, to support it I'll glue that in place the wood glue didn't stick for the other block but uh, I'll make sure it sticks for this one <laughs> It's going slow. <laughs> All right. Glued that shelf back with that. Touched up these a little bit with some of my, uh, oh, watch out, kitty. Um, and hit the, the balls with uh, a little bit of my uh, bronze paste wax. I'm going to do the sides of the shelf with it, too. Um, and, uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, yeah, I picked out some, uh, some cool little keys. Hold on while I get them. Hard getting stuff with one hand and holding the camera with the other. Okay, I got these little decorative keys. And uh, right in the middle of them, I was thinking about pasting one just uh, on each side, just for a little extra, um, extra touch. There used to be a label here. You can kind of see the outline of it now, or an oval one. But uh, yeah, I just thought it needed a little something, and it goes with the and I'll, I'll touch it up with my my bronze paste wax before I put them on but uh, yeah that'll look pretty cool okay got my second key on and tomorrow I'll do this one it's getting late in the day and I don't think this one's still drying Oop, I'm gonna have to touch up that a little bit anyway All right, this was a last minute thing, but I wasn't happy with the backs of those uh, shelves. They're supposed to be white and they just, well, that's badly colored. Lighting is bad, but there's a key on each shelf. In the back, I'm gonna do decoupage, <laughs> yes. That way, the paint I was trying to paint over the black that it smeared onto the white, and it just was not working out, and this would be less frustration. So I'm not spray painting this whole paper. I'm just doing the uh, the key part. Hmm. Okay. So here we go. Spray, spray, spray. All right, got all the keys on the three sides. I have a key in the back of each. Then I have a light box in the middle. 
and I just have to put the light in it. Now, I'm waiting for Albert to find me a light. And as soon as I do that, he does that, I'm, I'm finished. All right, I just wasn't happy with the Christmas lights idea. I didn't think it was going to work out. So I took an old desk lamp apart and wired it in to the back, to the inside. This doesn't get hot. So I'm thinking that might light it up good enough. So I'm going to finish up here and show you the finished result. All right, got it done and got it set up. I'll take some uh, shots at night of it. But, uh, yeah, that should help brighten this up back in here. At night, we'll find out. Okay, it's getting darker. Well, I wouldn't look at that way from this camera, but uh, yeah, it is getting darker out here. You can't even see what's on the bottom shelf anymore. Well, you kind of can. It's a, like a birdhouse. I'll bring it out one last time after it really does get dark okay well it's finally dark out here and look at that light it lights up the floor around here and it does add a bit of light to the room or to the porch. You can see a bit around here. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy. Well, There we go. Got it. Looks better out here at night. Because you can't see nothing. <laughs> One more peep. Turn off the ceiling light. And it still adds a good bit of light to the porch out here. Pretty cool. Night y'all. Y'all. Night y'all. <laughs> Night everyone. Peace.